Because Roger Federer, 41 year old, has retired from the game of tennis. The Swiss player dominated the sport in the early 21st century with exceptional all round game. He's won a record eight Wimbledon titles and he was the first player to claim 20 Grand Slam men's singles titles. Uh, to my colleague Nikhil Naz, uh, who's joining us on this retirement. Uh, Nikhil, you know, there's a statement that Roger Federer has given out. Would you take us through it? But this is huge. He's 41. He says he knows the limits of his body. But what, you know, an outstandingly lustrous career. Oh, yes. Uh, there could be an uh, argument. Is he the greatest ever to have played yes. the sport? Uh, numbers may not support that with uh, Rafael Nadal leading that tally with 22. Uh, but if you were to ask tennis specialists or, you know, people who follow the sport for the longest time, they'd say the kind of impact that he had on the sport probably makes him the greatest player ever. But the writing was on the wall. You saw the last few years, the last competitive game or the Grand Slam that he played, 2019 final uh, that he played, heartbreaking loss to Novak Djokovic. So the writing was on the wall. He hadn't been fit, had to go through various injuries, various surgery over the last few years. And people thought that maybe, you know, you might get to see another Grand Slam for him, uh, possibly the Wimbledon. But then when he missed out on the Wimbledon last time around, I think that time the writing was on, his, on the wall. Uh, maybe he has two sets of twins to look after. Maybe that prompted the decision for him to maybe look at a life beyond tennis. But yes, it is uh, the biggest news. Probably the player with the maximum impact on the sport has decided to call it quits. But 24 Four years. That's yes. a lifetime. 24 well, that years. A lifetime, and there was one time when he was unbeatable. Uh, the uh, first yes. player to get 20 Grand Slam titles. Yes, and then there was a time that all three were tied with Rafael Nadal, yes. Novak Djokovic. I'll tell you what makes him great. What makes him great is he, uh, you know, played for generations where you had the earlier generation of Andre Agassi's and Pete Sampras's. He competed with them, won Grand Slams against them. Then you got the newer generation. You had a 19-year-old Rafael Nadal who came in, and yet being the senior pro, he competed with him for years. Then you had another youngster in Novak Djokovic come and emerge. But then Federer remained there. So Federer was that one constant over the time of the dominance of what Pete Sampras had or the dominance of Andre Agassi had and then competed with younger players. But maybe I think maybe it's the end of an era uh, because yeah. of uh, you know how Roger Federer played the game and you're seeing it with the other pros as well in Rafael Nadal, in Novak Djokovic and, and guess what, it maybe comes at a time where a 19 year old mm -hmm. Alcaraz has just won the US Open maybe there was a Roger Federer sitting in his drawing room and saying hey, maybe it's time for these teenagers to take over. But, but you know, not to take away the fact that we talk about a 19 year old but uh, Federer himself was the oldest number one ranking player at 36. Oh yes, and, and I think the, the greatness about his sport was mm -hmm. in an era, and, the, and when, I, when I talk about the Pete Sampras era where he competed, won a Grand Slam, you saw the next era was about power tennis. It was about, you know, bulging muscles like a Rafael Nadal had or a supremely fit athlete like Novak Djokovic. Uh, he wasn't that alpha male. Roger mm -hmm. Federer wasn't the alpha male. He was a regular well, guy. He could get about the court like nobody else could. That's what made him great. So maybe he was born to play tennis. So maybe he wasn't this, you know, machine that you saw on the court that a Rafael Nadal was was, or maybe a supremely fit guy like Novak Djokovic, but what Roger Federer did, he was poetry in motion. That's how everyone explained. Uh, so it wouldn't look like he's making an effort. With a Rafael Nadal, you'll see that he's working hard, right. he's running a... Uh, Roger Federer was made I uh, was born to play tennis. Interestingly, when he started as a youngster, he wasn't even the best in his age group. But maybe he, he then reached the stage where just the kind of game that he had. Right. So easy on the eye. I mean, you could watch Roger True. Federer play for five hours non-stop and not get tired of it.